yoga to relieve gastritis. Gas trouble is the inflammation in your stomach lining. Gastritis is a common problem nowadays. It can occur due to many reasons. The main reason is improper digestion. For those who are working in IT industry and handle more stress, it is a common issue. Many stomach problems are a consequence of stress and diet rich in sugar, salt, fat as well as lack of frequent activity and in general bad habits of life. However, there are certain yoga postures that can prevent all these discomforts. By practicing these yogasanas and pranayama along with certain modifications to your diet and habits, you can easily get rid of gastric problems. Let's start with pranayama. Kapalabhati Sit in an easy pose, take a deep breath in and breathe out rapidly in short intervals. As you exhale, pull in your stomach towards your spine. There will be a hissing sound during this process. Active exhalation and passive inhalation. Repeat this for 5 minutes. Kapalabhati Pranayama stimulates abdominal organs apart from that it also helps improve lung activity. It aids digestion and prevent acidic and gas problems. Let's start with asanas. Today I will be teaching you 10 asanas to fight gastritis. First one, Vajrasana. Thunderbolt pose. Begin by standing on your knees, interlock your big toes and sit on your heels. Place your hands on your sides, close your eyes and concentrate on your breathing to calm your mind. Keep this pose for 5 to 10 minutes. If you want, you can keep your hand in mudra as well. Vajrasana increases the blood flow to digestive organs by reducing blood flow to legs. It improves digestion and aids to release the gas from stomach. This yogasana also helps prevent acidity. Second asana, Ushtrasana, the camel pose. Begin by kneeling on the floor. Place your hands on the hips. Inhale, arch your back, bend. Gently roll your head. Hold this pose for a minute. Ushtrasana stretches the abdominal organs which helps space up for good digestion. Third asana, Mandukasana. From Vajrasana, make a fist and place it below your navel. With a deep inhale, fold down as you're exhaling. Go for a few breathings. Keep your head, chin up. You can start to feel pulsation around your navel as the practice deepens. Mandukasana eliminates adipose tissue and strengthens your digestive organs. Moving on to the fourth pose, Balasana, the child's pose, my favorite. From Vajrasana, keep gap between your knees, fold forward, try to touch your chest down. This stretch helps you relax and relieve some of the stress that's affecting your digestion. Fifth Asana, Paschimottanasana, the seated forward fold. Sit down on the floor with your legs in front of you. Keep your back straight, slowly fold forward, stay there for 5 to 10 breathings. Paschimottanasana is excellent for abdominal organs. It helps to correct digestion, stimulates the functions of your stomach, liver, spleen, kidneys and intestines. Sixth pose, Ardha Maschendrasana, Half Fish Lord Pose. Bend your left knee and place your left foot next to your right knee. Next, bend your right knee such that your left hip will rest on your right heel. Now, twist to your left. Use your left hand as a support and right hand bent. Look away. 
Repeat the same on the other side. With the posture of the half torsion, the abdominal organs that receive a strong massage. It helps to cure dyspepsia, jaundice and obesity. Lucky number 7 Seventh pose is Pavana Muktasana Wind Relieving Pose By lying flat on your back with arms and legs extended As you exhale, bring both your knees towards your chest Clasp your hands around the legs and bring your chin close to the chest Hold this posture while you breathe normally after holding this posture for 10 breathing slowly, come back and release your neck. Keep your knees locked. Make sure your knees are, are as close as possible to your chest. As the name states, wind relieving pose, it helps in releasing unwanted gas from your stomach. It also improves efficiency of digestion process in addition to balancing digestion process this yoga asana provide a good stretch to your lower back a little advanced in pavana muktasana we are going to go for the rules so keep your hands firmly locked as you're exhaling push yourself forward to sit and inhale go back exhale come friend sit inhale go back Repeat this for about 10 rollings. For the 8th asana, let's follow from Pavanamukhtasana to single legged Pavanamukhtasana. So catch hold of your left leg bent in Pavanamukhtasana and right leg in 90 degrees. Hold this pose. Make sure you're giving the pressure on your abdomen by the fold of your left thigh let's switch the sides ninth asana the purita karini legs against the wall or here trees lie down against the wall Make sure both sides of your hips touch equally on the wall. Keep your legs straight. Viparita Karni makes the back and abdominal muscles strong and neutralizes accumulated gas and releases it. Last asana, the tenth one. Sulabha Makarasana This is a very simple asana to practice Lie on your stomach Cup your cheeks Use your palms While your elbows can rest on the mat It will improve your digestion And relieve you from your gas problems Make sure you stay in this pose for a while Vajrasana is the only asana that you can do even after having food and also giving food as well. So these are a few uh, simple asanas that can help you fight gastritis. So along with this, uh, do learn under a certified yoga teacher. Saying this, I'll take a leave. This is me, Kanchana Ganga. Until next time, do subscribe to my channel and let me know what video you want to see of yoga tutorial next. Namaste, have a nice day.